Jose Guadalupe Gonzalez's dreams of coming out of the shadows to live freely with his family are shattered. Cuando me todo falso fue cuando me mandaron la carta esa. Gonzalez is one of the nearly 200 who fell for the phony documents Humberto Reveles and Maria Lerma were selling. Yo fui víctima de que me creí en ellos, que podía haber arreglado, pero no. Reveles and Lerma fessed up to their crimes. Para empezar, mil dólares. The two were duping people in the country illegally into buying fake Indian tribe memberships. Estaba esperanza todavía darles el dinero para que me dieran mis papeles, para que yo pueda trabajar bien y te, darles una vida buena a mis hijos. The pair told their victims they would be allowed to live and work in the country if they purchased a membership to the Yamasi tribe. Evidence discovered during the Revela's investigation led to the identification of Querena Almeida Cedillo. A criminal complaint shows Almeida collected applications, processed them, and took in fees from victims, sending them to other so-called Yamasi tribe leaders. No, no legitimate tribe does that. Head chief of the Yamasi tribe says their tribe is a victim too. Francisco Stephen Tipton represents about 20 people who bought the fake papers. He says his clients, along with others out there, are owed more than the money they forked over. And if they fall under as victims of extortion, then they qualify for U visas. Tipton says he's been working for nearly a year to get those for his clients. The latest suspect in this fake Indian tribe membership case is set to go to trial on June 5th. Kennel Channel 5 News to keep you updated.